Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Daryl from The Quest in Galesburg. I uh, want to welcome you to our page again this morning. Um, like everybody else, uh, Thanksgiving was yesterday, and what now we're launching full steam ahead into the holiday season. Pardon me while I move this thing a minute. Uh, I'm like, I'm sure everybody's like me. My phone keeps, keeps getting text messages, my internet, hundreds of emails, Facebook messages, advertisements do this. Not only advertisements to buy products, but advertisements to uh, borrow money, uh, new systems where you can go buy something now and put it on payments, interest-free, and all kinds of things. They're just everything trying to get people to buy, and it seems like that's the nature of Christmas anymore, but... I got to thinking about a sermon I preached several years back now. Um, It was based on uh, Philippians chapter 3, and I'll read that in just a minute. But uh, I used a song, uh, a secular song, one of my favorites, in in fact, by a group by uh, the name of Finger Eleven called One Thing. Uh, That song talks about trading everything for one thing. And, you know, in the Christian life, that's the way it's supposed to be. Now, let me share with you that passage of Scripture. It's very familiar, but I want to read it from the New Living Version today. It's in Philippians 3, chapter 12 and 13. Excuse me, 3, 12 through 14. It says, I don't mean to say that I've already achieved these things or what I've already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on one thing. Forgetting the past, looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the end of the race and to receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. What I want to talk about just for a moment this morning is remembering that one thing, especially this time of year. It's true all year long. But especially at this time of year, we get so wrapped up in Christmas. I mean, I love Christmas. I really do. I used to hate it because I battled depression so severely. But I still love it. And But if I'm not careful, I find myself doing the same thing. I'll go overextending myself, putting things on credit. I've done that in the past. I, I refuse to do it nowadays. If I don't have the money, I won't buy it. Um, and I want to encourage you not to do that because the problem is we want to make it about the gifts instead of the, the giver. Christmas is about Jesus. Christmas is about the Son of God coming to transform this world and to transform our lives and give us hope. Keep in mind that one thing. What matters most is not how many gifts you have for your kids, for your grandkids, for your loved ones. Those are nice things to do. We all enjoy doing that. But the one thing that truly matters is is Christ Jesus. Keep him first and foremost in everything else. And I promise you this, if you keep Jesus first and foremost, the rest of it will begin to fade to the background. You'll still give gifts, don't get me wrong, you will. You'll still enjoy holiday parties and times around the table with your family and friends. Those are important as well. But the one thing that truly matters is what Paul wrote about. I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past, looking forward to the lies ahead. I'm not talking about the next year. Lord knows we're all ready to get out of 2020, but that's not it. What lies ahead for those of us who are in Christ is eternity with Christ Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, I don't even want to talk about what that that alternative is, but if you don't know Jesus, there is another destination. It's called hell. People don't like to hear it. They don't like to talk about it, but it's a reality. One thing matters. Do you know Jesus? Is he become your Lord and Savior? If not, I encourage you today, make that your number one thing. That you surrender your life to Jesus Christ and serve Him. Yes, you'll still have problems, but if you keep your mind on one thing, pleasing Jesus, life changes its focus. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful day. And remember to slow down during this holiday season. Keep things calm, all right? Love y'all. We're praying for you. God bless you.